It's about moving into sustainability and being able to be part of electrification, but not giving up the freedom and mobility that exists right now. To be able to do the first all-electric Jeep in North America, I mean, the most important element as we moved into electrification is to make sure that people got everything out of electrification they were expecting, that they're going to get the power, they're going to get the range, they're going to get the look. One of the great benefits that comes with moving to electrification is the ability to get those super quick zero to sixties and get the thrill and the rush. And we want people to have that thrill and the rush that goes hand in hand with um, protecting the environment and looking towards sustainability. There's fun to be had there. Trying to find that right balance, trying to make sure that we had the, the, the most efficient onboard energy for them, but got to a range that was reasonable, especially in North America where we travel long distance and people don't want to worry. The range is predicted to be uh, over 300 miles on the launch edition of the Wagoneer S. Aerodynamics on this vehicle, incredibly important. If we're gonna put that amount of onboard energy on the vehicle, we wanna get the max range out of it. So we're giving the consumer exactly what they're looking for. It is absolutely imperative that we work hand in hand with product design office. And we don't want people to have a vehicle that goes a long way, but looks super ugly, because nobody wants that. Uh, so it was very, very important. They are the craftsmen, they have the designs, they have the vision. As engineers, it's up to us to take those visions, make them so they're manufacturable, make them so they meet all of the regulations and the requirements and still achieve the aerodynamics that we're looking for. And the time spent together in the wind tunnels, doing that work real time together to finally get to the, the end product that everybody gets to see that achieved both the aero to give us the best range possible and a vehicle that's absolutely stunning. This Wagoneer S is going to be the very first vehicle off of the Stella Large platform. A tremendous tool within engineering, not only to develop multiple products, but also multiple propulsions. It's very flexible. It would allow us to launch what we are now with our 100 kilowatt hour battery. It can also go up to a larger battery if needed. It will accommodate ICE engines, HEVs. So it gives us the opportunity to introduce not only from a, a vehicle appearance standpoint, but from a propulsion, whatever we think the consumer is going to want and need. Pressure was high, but the rewards that come with it and being part of this journey of what it means to the automotive industry and to Stellantis with delivering this Wagoneer S is a gift.